First of all, thank you very much for checking out this video. Secondly, let's get right into it. This is going to be a short video. I'm just going to explain the huge power we have in our hands right now with Audience Insights. It's a new product feature that Facebook rolled out a little while ago, so it might be uh, possible that you don't have it yet. So don't freak out in case you don't. It's going to arrive on at your ads manager uh, pretty soon and it's over here on the left sidebar on inside your ads manager you have the audience insights the power is absolutely insane what you can do with this is the research and the amount of data and information you can get highly is so is so powerful it affects uh, your uh, your results on Facebook so much that if you're not using them right now you're absolutely missing out and actually losing a lot of money in uh, results you are not getting okay so what what it does is with the audience inside so let's click over here real quick what you can do is you can do your research apart from what I teach which is on Facebook it's as I taught always on Google itself to go and find brands products public figures and leaders in the niche events and organization and sub niches as I always taught you and then always practice by myself this uh, apart from that and now we have an in-house tool here on Facebook where you can actually get all that data at once and really make yourself really smart before you jump into a promotion or you start a marketing campaign okay so uh, of course uh, we can't be like in the know of every all the niches in the world so that's why there is the research part and it's always crucial to do your research prior to any marketing campaign because that is going to increase your results and, and meaning you're going to get better and more targeted traffic which increases your conversions and click -through rates as well which makes your ad cost go down so the more targeted the better and to get more targeted we need to get do more research okay so now we can do all that research all in one right here on audience insights so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the audience whatever whatever you already know about your audience or the market you're going to target you type it in here you could do custom audiences that you have and stuff and it will automatically give you all that data but because we're going to jump into new niches it means that we don't have anything so let's do it live right here with one i'm going to jump into which is going to do a t-shirt for a group of ecology uh, ecologist and i want to do my research right here because i haven't done it so let's do it live right here in front of you so the first thing i'm going to type in is the first keyword i know which is ecology i don't know anything else okay let's assume i don't know anything else about ecology which i do but uh, right here uh, doing the research okay so type in ecology the first thing you see is you're going to see a uh, demographics uh, proportions okay so 65 percent is the first thing we see is that most of the people of the people who are interested in ecology are women well it's not most of them but pretty much uh, double the size of uh, a little bit less than double than men uh, than the men okay so 65 percent now you also see that uh, there are always two percentages so 65 percent of women and it's actually 64 percent of all facebook so there is a slight increase it says 18.1 percent of the selected audience is between 18 and 24 but it's 25.5 percent of all facebook users so there is a difference it's going to compare between all facebook users and just the ones in the audience you selected which is right here just people interested in ecology I could even narrow this down even more and say okay my target I know that uh, people that are gonna buy the most are over 30 so it's not gonna show this now it's just gonna show uh, from 30 and above okay now so okay ecology that is a cool thing right here and you can see a little bit about their older demographics where they uh, work and stuff but that is not the power power really powerful future it's this one right here page likes okay so the first thing you're gonna see is okay and let me get back let me get back to uh, 21 which is what I had uh, the first thing you see is top categories because you want to keep it open and then see what they're most interested in and then narrow down the more you know and the more you market the more you see which demographics respond better 
by split testing okay but this, this is the broad idea the research prior to any marketing campaign so the number one home garden you see that top categories the number one categories are home and garden and they give you all the pages and you can actually click on them and go over there and check them out that are related to ecology on Facebook okay the number one category you also then okay make sure you keep these uh, this little uh, this little uh, keywords that I put here the topics key topics that you want to find keywords in that you can then target so brands and products right here we have these are products actually in brands now here we have another product here we have organizations tree huggers we have the organic non-gmo report world wolf conservation center nature conservancy these are organizations that we can go after as, as well so you can always check them out and see now we have an idea of what we're targeting but here it's where it becomes even better okay it goes page likes we see from relevant they Facebook calculates the relevance uh, by looking at the affinity the page sizes and the number of people who are interested in ecology as I typed in in here that are interested in ecology the uh, top top relevant uh, result is sustainable man most people that like ecology like sustainable man and there is then there is the affinity uh, which is how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone on Facebook which means 3.9 percent uh, 3.9 times more than everybody else on Facebook they will like this page right here now they calculate from page size uh, number of people in the audience who already like this page this specific page and the affinity they uh, calculate the relevance right there but you can see that 6.6 .6 times more than everybody else they will like resource natural spring water but it's not the most relevant one because it's not the amount of people who are in here most of them like this one right here then this and then this right right here these are the top three so if you target this you shouldn't be off okay now but let's go a little bit deeper let's know let's say I know about a little bit more about my stuff because I did my Google research as I teach you uh, by using by doing this brands ecology brands uh, ecology leaders ecology events ecology sub niches we are in this case you go for what else uh, do ecologists do okay they conservation uh, they do uh, they plant trees they uh, fight against the petrol uh, or oil companies so ecology englobes englobes a lot of different sub niches within ecology okay avas is a one of the brands we could target in organizations as well okay so you get the point so what once you add another another interest it immediately changes and now we can see that it also added greenpeace usa greenpeace international organic consumers association right down there and up here you see that by relevance if they like if they like ecology and greenpeace they like now greenpeace usa became the second most relevant one okay and look 6.2 uh, affinity right there 6.2 times which is as i said huge so 6. Point times more than everybody else on facebook they will like this which is i'm going to target these too i'm just going to do it okay i'm also going to target greenpeace international payment system and also this magazine look at brand and product mother earth news magazine and magazines those are stuff that you want to target with your ads as well whatever niche you're jumping in okay so once we have this now we have a ton of information and more than enough but we can also go even deeper we can know where they live most of the people live in right here we can see in Florida of all these people but that would be a little bit if you want to go just for a state t-shirt first or like that like ecology and also live in here like in different layer uh, as Don teaches but then the last and really really powerful you can check these out too or you can see how much they engage and stuff like that but which is not really useful right now for the uh, market research but well you can see this helps you see if they are really interactive with facebook posts and stuff which is really great now but this is where i want to go right here under purchases 
what you'll see is that 73% of these people are buyers of clothing on Facebook. Okay? Facebook sees that the thing they buy the most is clothing, then food and drink, and then subscription services. Look at that, subscription services, which is really good for us marketers uh, for residual income and pet products right there as well. They are animal lovers, of course, they are ecologists and uh, they have to be animal lovers too so right there you have all the data 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 <laughs> the data and the information you need in order to really know what to target with your ads and uh, which in the end well, what as a consequence will get you way more results than you've been getting till now because you now know from facebook themselves so what people you should be targeting Good. And then once you have all that set and you did all your research, you can immediately right from here, you can save this as an audience you want to target. Okay, you can go in there and say, this is uh, Greenpeace or this is ecology, ecology audience. Uh, blah, 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 you save it and you can target it 